football season and fantasy sports companies are dominating the airwaves with ads. Erin, who wins in this scenario, companies or customers? Um, I think it's obviously the companies in this scenario. We're looking at uh, two main companies that are really dominating the airwaves. This is FanDuel and DraftKings. They're both venture-backed startups that are spending tons, like hundreds of millions of dollars on ads, both in apps, you know, on TV, everywhere. And it's really interesting because this is kind of like a circular movement of money. A lot of their venture funding is coming from the TV companies that are actually running these ads. So it's almost like they're buying their own ads, which I think is completely completely unsustainable. Well, you're saying the companies win. Look, I think it's all about the customers in this scenario. Any economist would say that this kind of cutthroat competition will just help drive down prices. It'll be good for consumers. So this has got to be good, right? No, I disagree because honestly, I don't think that these two services are that differentiated from each other. I don't think there's really one that's much better than the other. And so ultimately the customers are losing because we are being bombarded by ads in our phone, on TV, everywhere we look. And I think it's just kind of becoming annoying. Well, I, I agree with you. It's absolutely <laughs> Absolutely annoying. They're everywhere, but we're, we're, we're limiting our scope a little too much. So we're talking about these two companies, but they're not the only players in fantasy sports, mm -hmm. right? You've got Yahoo, you've got CBS. There are other major media companies who play in this space. And the way I see it, again, coming back to the competition, <laughs> more competition is better for the users. This differentiation, this lack of it will only prompt the incumbents to keep trying. Well, see, that's the thing that, that I think is problematic here. I think ultimately people watching this market realize that there's kind of only room for one player. This arms race is eventually going to end with a winner. And um, really, the real winner here, I think, is going to end up being the broadcasters who are airing TV. Because if you play fantasy, you're going to watch more football. If you watch football, you're going to play more fantasy. They really actually do work really well together. So ultimately, these kind of companies, I think, belong under the umbrella of a large broadcaster. That's a fair point. For one show that's always a touchdown, come to Fortune.com for more tech debate.